Hello, and welcome to the Board Game Check YouTube channel. My name is Pierre. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all of this here. I have Ahau, Rulers of Yucatan, the Ahau Eclipse expansion for Ahau, Rulers of Yucatan, and this lovely, lovely art prints here. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ancient discovery. All right, so Ahau, Rulers of Yucatan, plus the Ahau Eclipse expansion pack, and these little art prints that got sent to me as well. So I'll put the art prints and the expansion aside for now, and we'll dig into the main box. Here we are. Let's move this to the side like this. First thing we're going to take a look at is the world of Aho, Aho, Yucatan. This is like the historical background. Because apparently they uh, got um, some professionals on Maya culture and all these things to uh, research the game with them. And here's some of that background, which is nice. Here we have the big glossy rule book. Very big, very glossy, yeah. Nice picture images, examples, roll cards, solo mode. And yeah, there we go. So I'll put this to the side for now. Perfect. So the first thing we'll take a look at is very simply the game board, which is absolutely gorgeous and double-sided, it seems. So I'll show you the first half of the board. It looks like this. And this is the second half there. And then uh, we can flip it over here and then go up. There's that bottom piece of the board. So, board observed. And there we go. Next here, we have 85 pyramid tiles. I'm not sure if this is the 85. It's probably what looks looks like it. If you take a look, there's various masks and, you know, Maya inspired culture there and on the other side they just look like this I'm just manipulating it very well because even if I go like this they're all just gonna start falling out so we got those there put those back in there next here we have some more of those um, pyramid tiles here these hexagonal ones are city tiles they're very beautiful here it says plus five and a flute, so it must be the plus five flute button. No, it's the, these are weapon tiles, apparently. These are going to be uh, score fame markers here. I'm assuming the board gear goes to 100. When you get to 100, you do that, and you flip it, and you can go to 200s here. And then on the other side of the, oops, on the other side of the weapon token, right, you get five again, you just flip it, I guess, plus five in there. These circular ones are the production site tiles. This is about to fall off. Look at it, I'm just touching it. It's so brutal. So these are the production tiles. It seems like we're producing some sort of rocks, more rocks, and different kinds of rocks. This is probably, uh, looks like coffee beans maybe, and limestone and maybe gravel. I'm not really sure. I haven't read the rules yet. Again, I got this one on Kickstarter though. So here we have the, the ruler standees. There's one ruler there. You have this green one here. Oh, green one. Red. Uh, I'll go with purple first. Beautiful and orange, just like that. And we had more of those uh, production tiles here. It looks like we can produce. What does this look like on this tile? Um, water? <laughs> and hills. So. Not sure what those are. Here we have some building tiles here. The uh, rectangular ones there, and this is what they look like on the back. So there we go. I the reason I say flimsy is because like this cardboard isn't flimsy, but it seems to be like really. I'm just touching it; it just falls out, which is nice because I don't like the ones where they're not perforated very well, and you rip them. So there we go. Next here. We have uh, a 3D pyramid tile here. This is going to be the base for them. Oops, sorry. Maybe I should get in focus here. So this is the pyramid tile here. This is the base for the pyramid tiles. And these things are the on the top here. These are God 
scoring tiles. These ones here, right? This one, and the here. So that's one pyramid. And then there's four more pyramids here, plus that the last god scoring tile there. This is what they look like on the other side. Just the same thing, just less glossy on the other side, it looks like, maybe. Yeah, I'll put that there. Next, they gave uh, me some stickers. I'm not sure what they're for, but I'm sure I'll be sticking them on something. Very nice. Probably for your workers, I'd assume. Hey? Now, here we have some uh, gameplay summary cards. Five of them. Uh, yeah, five of them there, so that's nice. Put this fell out. Next, we have this these little boards here which are double-sided there's one that's a double-sided solo board and i think it's this one because it has just the one see so, there's, there's like this little sign right there for like the one person there so this is the solo board and here there are just five of the double-sided player boards so you see the the leaders match too so you know which one you're taking and i'm not really sure if they're asymmetrical but i know you just take the one that matches your leader and then there's some sort of a knight looking one here again with all of your leaders there this is, production is very beautiful so far let's get through this organization here so that's always appreciated thank you for the bags and here we have a a felt bag of some sort i'm not sure what it's for but i'm sure we'll, oh it's one bag for pyramid tiles so pyramid tiles will go in there just nice at least I know what it is now. Here we have just a whole pile of wooden stuff here. So uh, I'm going to open it up off screen and I will be right back. So we're done sorting that out. And so we have these. So we have the workers are, of course, the people with the little bags on their back. And these circles, this is supposed to be purple, you can't really see it with the color there, but these circles are the seven player markers, and this is what you put the stickers on. So you can see my, my, my big finger, it's going to be a, a chore to put those on, but I'm happy to do it, because this is a beautiful game here so far. So I'll put those, uh, actually I'm going to do something unheard of, and I'm going to put these back in the bag. So as you can see, there's lots of them, it comes with 12 workers and seven of the tiles there, or the... Player workers, apologize. Okay, in there. And next we have five types of resources, and there's 75 of them all. So 15 each. Uh, it doesn't tell us what they are, but it looks like this one might be a grain. That looks like some sort of a... Maybe a haunch, or maybe potato, I'm not sure. This one is coal, it looks like. This one might be limestone, or the stone you need, and this one is water so like i said this one not too sure what it is but it's pretty cute and i will again put these back into the bag there and uh, i've just noticed when i was looking at this on the components page of the rule book here it actually tells you how to pronounce the game so it's a how a how with the emphasis on the second syllable so a how i hope i'm pronouncing that right um, next here, we just have some bases for the standees and this, oh, that's a cool token, let's pull that out. So, got some boring bases, five of them, thankfully, but then I got this other token here. And look, it's like this see-through kind of acrylic looking thing. And this is the, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, it's K apostrophe A-T-U-N, so cartoon marker. That's beautiful. I almost don't. I also just want to put it back in the bag so it doesn't rub on anything. Put that right there. Uh, next, it looks like we have some cards in the plastic here, and I'll just take this apart and be right back. So we're back, and we'll start with the uh, solo components, and this is the six personality cards. I'll go through them real quick here. They're very nice colors. I like the vibrant colors on the dark background. That's very nice. And then the other one backside just kind of looks like this the next one is another solo component and this is the resource tracker card looks like that 
Next we have the, uh, let me just push this over a bit, roll cards here. So there's this one, this one, this one, this one, uh, this one, and this one. Maybe if I should just put these back in order like that. There we go. And the, those, these are for, uh, those aren't solo components. Those are the actual components there. And here we have the region cards for each color. So we have this one. And they're all going to be the same, except that the border is kind of different. But I do like the graphic design on these. Like, the number pops out at you, and I like the border. It's not just a plain black that's going to, you know... You've probably seen it if you have a plain black border, and you rub the cards and you shuffle them, the border kind of gets all scruffed up and stuff. So there you go. That's for that one. And then the purple one here, again, with all six of those places on there. Next is the green player here. It's a nice green as well. That's nice. And then there's an orange here. Which is also very nice. Might be my favorite color, actually, the orange one. It really pops, you know, with the outlines and the black and orange. It goes there, and last but not least for these cards here are the beige ones. And apparently, uh, looking at the uh, Kickstarter comments, there's something about the beige is off color, and they're sending us stickers about it. I haven't noticed that yet, but that is one thing that is happening. Um, next, I'll just set up the little expansion, and I will be right back. So I got the expansion here. It's a very tiny little thing, and. They also commented on this expansion that the manufacturer, maybe through an error or they didn't look at their files, there are five construction tiles missing. And they're going to be sending that out to backers. So my apologies, I can't show you that because I don't have it. So we have a tiny little rule book here. It's more of a rules pamphlet, really. It just folds out like this. All right. So we have some... Oh. I guess it's some building. Oops, this is falling out already. And I just grabbed some cards back there. These are just uh, event tiles. And they look like this. Are these the event? No, these are the special pyramid tiles, I believe. These ones. Anyways, that's what they look like there. It says there's supposed to be 15 of these, and I have, yeah, 3 times 5 is 15. So that's there, I guess. Just put that like that. Next, I have some cards here. These are the actual event cards here. So they're really nice. Very nice art on there. Wow, this is beautiful. This is really bringing back Teotihuacan vibes, to be honest with you. Very nice. I know they're not the same... Uh, culture of game just the pyramids because i believe teotihuacan is set prior to uh mayan culture and all that i could be wrong of course if you want to leave a comment and tell me how about how i'm wrong i will uh read those and i will agree with you so there you go those were the event cards and this is what the back looks like next uh i guess there are different cards here so these ones are personality cards for solo play. That person looks very proud of themselves, don't they? Very proud. Perfect. This one, this one, this one. And now for these ones, there's six uh, roll cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, as I said before, there should be... Um, five building tiles but they are unfortunately not in here because like i said they forgot to print and pack them if you take a look at the component list here see five building tiles and as you can see well there are none so there you go and last but not least i got these uh, art prints here i may as well show them off this was the all-in kickstarter i believe i'm not really sure if they had a mat i didn't back it but uh, here we go this is the this is the map like the game board see Aha! <laughs> I'm getting good at that. So we got that one there. And the back is just a... It's almost like a postcard-sized of a card here. This one. 
that one, this one, that one, this one. Now we're back to the beginning. So those were the art prints. So there we go. End of all my boxes. End of video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe leave a like, subscribe. If you leave a comment, I'll be sure to answer it as soon as I can. And until next time, have a good one.